spinal outpatient surgery centers are um, great places to perform outpatient spine surgery. More and more uh, spine surgery in the United States are moving to the outpatient centers. 80% of the procedures in neurosurgical spine that uh, you can do with an inpatient. The hospital, you don't quite know who you're going to be working with every day because there's a larger staff and rotation. The uh, surgery centers usually it's smaller so you know everyone, it's consistent. One of the uh, complaints of minimum invasive surgery is because you don't have a big incision where you see every single detail. You're basing it on things like x-ray or radiation or fluoroscopy. Uh, so there is increased radiation. And so that's one of the concerns and that's why um, there's a push for minimally invasive techniques to use the intraop navigation. The uh, surgery glasses are a way to have a navigation system that is less expensive. The equipment is mounted on your head, and so it gives you advantages. You can use it for, say, endoscopy, where you don't have to keep looking at the screen. You have uh, capabilities of looking at uh, multiple screens all in your monitor all at one time. Sword glasses, I've used it several times, and it's uh, worked very well. Augmented reality, I think bringing it to the uh, medical field and surgery is very appropriate and will benefit um, uh, surgeons. So we have done several uh, cases using the sur glasses. And once you register, then the reduction in radiation is significant. You can use the system, put in say pedicle screws or other types of screws like uh, sacroiliac fixation, and then after that, only have a final x-ray to confirm placement. It definitely improves accuracy, then the reduction in radiation is significant. It benefits the patient, the surgeon, all the staff, um, and eventually um, it will also benefit the surgery center. My practice is based in the greater San Francisco, uh, San Jose Bay Area, El Camino Hospital with their two hospitals inside their system as well as O'Connor Hospital. I also go to St. Rose Hospital and uh, Seton Hospital. And I work in a, several surgeries both in Fremont as well as in uh, San Jose.